I think as, as a leader, the team is your best asset, but then what do you do to nurture and grow that asset is really the testament of a great leader. So typically when you become a leader, it's no longer your responsibility to do the work, it's your responsibility to coach and lead the people that maybe coach and lead the people that do the work. So oftentimes as leaders, we're two, three, maybe five levels removed from the actual labor that's getting done. So our ability to be able to step away and see things from a 30,000 foot view allows us to see further into the future. We can sometimes innovate and come up with new ideas because we're not inundated with the work of the day to day, but it becomes um, super important for that leader to lead other leaders. And then the next thing you wanna be able to do, which is the elite status for me in leadership, is your ability to lead other leaders and teach them how to lead. So your team is your greatest asset and you should focus at least 60 to 75% of your time on growing, nurturing, coaching, and leading your team.